Hi, it's Danny Karen, your lovable lawyer, here with your Inside the Beltway shot of legal wellness. Now I say Inside the Beltway because today I'm in Washington, D.C. at the Department of Labor. Why? Because by now I think everybody's heard or read or seen what President Biden had to say about compulsory vaccinations to help stem the COVID-19 type. Now, he had a six-part plan, but there are two points that really have caused some controversy, and I'm going to go through them today. The first is his rule that all government, all federal government employees need to get vaccinated or at least tested. Now, is that legal? That's an easy one. Yes, it is. Why? Because the U.S. Constitution and the U.S. Code, which is the code, the uh, statutes, the laws of the United States, give him that authority. So that's an easy one. But the second issue, the, the more controversial uh, um, issue, is if you're a non-federal employee and his requirement that all non-federal employees at companies of 100 uh, workers or more have to get uh, vaccinated or tested. Is that legal? Is there authority for him to do that? Well, it's not in the Constitution or the U.S. Code. He can't use that same set of rules as he did a second ago, like I just described. So what's his basis? Well, he channeled it through OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, which is a part, uh, um, an agency of the Department of Labor. That's why I'm here. And OSHA is in charge of setting regulations and rules to keep workplaces healthy and safe. So what he did was, was to channel the vaccination and um, testing requirement through OSHA as his federal basis for its propriety. Now that's of course gonna be tested because it affects, and I say tested in court is what I mean by tested, that kind of tested, because it affects as many as 80 million workers and if companies don't do it, they're subject to up to $14,000 in fines per violation. So it's going to court, it's already underway. What's gonna happen is anybody's guess, but we'll see. It'll probably, if not certainly, make its way to the US Supreme Court, hopefully quickly, because we don't have a lot of time, but then we'll know once and for all whether that part of his requirements is legal. So stay tuned, we'll find out together, and I'll let you know when I find out too. And that's today's shot, vaccination shot, of legal wellness. I'll keep making my videos to keep you safe and well out there. If you want to learn more, please subscribe to my uh, web, uh, my um, website, my YouTube channel. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I will see you soon out there. Thanks, folks.